A man noticed an animal tethered to a railroad track. You'll be amazed by what he did to rescue it and the subsequent events. Join us to discover this remarkable tale. Jared Tweedle had seen how people were unkind to animals and left them alone in different situations. His family had taken care of many animals over the years. Jared, who had recently moved out of his parents' house, wanted to have a pet. So, he went to a place where they keep animals that need homes, hoping to find one. But there were so many wonderful animals there. Jared thought it was important to become friends with an animal before bringing it home. The place he went to let people meet the dogs that needed families and choose the one they liked the most. This was helpful for Jared because he could spend time with all the dogs and decide which one he liked the best. The only problem was that he couldn't pick just one dog. He liked two of them a lot. Jared really loved one dog. It was fun to play with this pup. He played fetch and ran around with Jared, and then he curled up and fell asleep next to him. They had a bond really quickly. But then the shelter told him something that would change everything. The puppy he was in love with was really bonded with another dog. His dog was a little bit older and really sweet, and Jared fell for him too. So what could he do? He ended up adopting both of them. He loved his pups. Eventually, Jared got married and had a family. Of course, his dogs went with them. His wife also really liked cats, and somehow every stray cat in the area ended up coming to their home and adopting the family as their own. So then they had a bunch of cats and two dogs as their family pets. Then the kids found a little ball of fluff injured on the side of the road, and since they knew that their family would approve, they brought it home. It turned out this was a Flemish giant rabbit. They took it to the vet and then back home, and it became another member of the family. So it is safe to say this family had seen plenty of ways how their beloved animals could come to them, and they had also seen a number of horrible ways that the animals had been hurt. But Jared would never have expected what he experienced later. It was a normal Sunday morning. The family had been cleaning up around the house, and there were some things that they wanted to recycle. Jared often took their household waste to the local recycling plant, and it was a road that he was really used to driving. This Sunday morning, everyone in the family had things to do, and that was why, after chores were done, Jared ended up driving on his own to the recycling plant. He had just gotten close when he had to drive past the railroad track. His son always loved the trains, and they would often see trains going past on this piece of track. So out of habit, Jared slowed down and looked to see if any trains were coming. There wasn't a train in sight, but movement on the track did catch his eye. Some sort of animal was lying down right on the railway tracks. Jared knew just how big of a mistake that could be. This train track had trains going past at least three times a day, and since it was almost midday, chances were huge that a train would come by soon. Jared did not want it on his conscience if a little deer got hit by the train. He pulled to the side of the road and opened his window. He loudly whistled to scare the animal away, but it did not budge. After doing it again, the animal picked up its ears and looked toward Jared. Now that it was not lying down in a little ball, it didn't really look like a deer anymore. Since he was a little bit of a distance away, it took Jared a little moment, but then he realized that this was no wild animal. This was a dog on the tracks, and he was in some serious danger. Jared got out and called the dog. This got its attention, and it jumped up. It started coming towards Jared, but then something pulled it back to the tracks. It looked like it had a leash or harness that was caught on the tracks, and it could not get itself loose. Jared knew he had to do something, even knowing that he was putting himself at risk, he ran to the dog, but he stopped a little away from the dog, not wanting to get bitten by a dog who was freaked out and scared. He spoke to the dog again, and its tail started wagging hard. This was definitely a friendly boy who just wanted some help. Jared went closer and realized that it wasn't the dog's leash caught on the tracks, but a rope. It wasn't caught at all. Instead, it looked like it was tied to the tracks on purpose. He started hearing a train, and while it was still far away, Jared knew that he had to get moving to save the dog. A dog that, when he looked closely, Jared realized was only a puppy and probably really scared. Jared got to work on the knot of the rope, but it was tied to stay. Having done a little bit of sailing, Jared saw that the rope had been tied in a figure eight, the type of knot that someone would use when they tied a boat to the dock. 
It had to be intentional. Someone had tied this poor puppy to the railway track, and they had intended to just leave him there, knowing that a train would go by at some point during the day. It made Jared sick to think about what they had planned on happening. But at the same time, it could still happen if he didn't figure out how to free the puppy. The rope was tight, and he desperately wished he had some sort of knife or something to just cut it loose. The train noise was getting closer. With fingers that were starting to bleed, Jared finally managed to loosen the rope enough to slip the end of the rope out between the knot. It started to unravel, and finally, he was able to untie the rope from the track and free the puppy. The pup, who had initially gotten up to go after Jared, did so again, but now he fell back down, too exhausted and weak to make it. He had been in the sun all day without any food or water, and it was a hot day. It was 100 degrees Fahrenheit, 37.7 degrees Celsius, and the pup had been stuck on the tracks where there was no shade at all. The train was getting close, and they had to get out of there. Jared turned to the puppy and picked him up. Luckily, he was really friendly, and he was too weak to resist anyway. Jared ran back to his car and put the tired puppy in the back of the vehicle. Then he gave him some water out of a flask he had with him. Jared was still resting next to him when the train passed them by. He didn't even want to think of what could have happened if he didn't drive by just at that moment. He brought the dog, whom he started calling Train, back home, and his family was stunned by what had occurred. They immediately contacted the authorities to report the incident. Then their primary focus shifted to ensuring the pup's well-being. They carefully removed all the burrs from his coat and gave him a soothing bath. Subsequently, they took him to a veterinarian to confirm his health. To their surprise, he only had a minor cut. Otherwise, he was in excellent health, with even his nails neatly trimmed. Although he appeared to be around six months old, he lacked a microchip or any means of identification. The vet suggested they could take him to a shelter, but what transpired next is beyond belief. Jared and the rest of the family had already grown attached to the pup, and they were determined to keep him. The children decided that he deserved a new name, and together they settled on Samson. Samson quickly adapted to their home and got along well with the other family pets. It was unanimously decided that Samson, the dog from the train tracks, would become the newest member of Jared's family, ensuring he would never face danger again. What do you think of this story? Let us know in the comments section. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up and share it with your loved ones. Also subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss the update from our channel. Thank you.